Today I'm going to be giving you the HD60S by Elgato. Amazing capture device. It is just awesome. It allows you to go through and use Xbox, PS4, or the Switch on your computer. If you're looking to take your stream or your YouTube videos to the next level, this is something you want to purchase. In my mind, it helps even more later on because a lot of DSLR cameras work with it. So when you do upgrade your camera in the future, when you're, you know, you're starting to get a return and things, you can use this for the camera if you decide to go strictly with PC gaming. So I'm going to go through and show you how to set it up. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Before we start, there is one thing we have to do on PS4. So make sure you do this on your PS4 before you unconnect it. What you'll do is just go up to settings. You'll go all the way down to system, second last, choose that. Go to enable HDCP, go ahead and turn that off. It'll flash. And then you can go ahead and go back and back. So here we have our Elgato HD60S. We have the output on this side. The output goes to the monitor that you're using. So I have it connected over here to my Dell Alienware. Then we have this one here, the smaller one. Smaller one goes to the computer, it's USB. You plug that in. And then we have a, another USB where it says in. So we get a good shot of that. That's the PS4 is going into that. So we have that cable running right to the PS4. So doing this will successfully get you started. Here you can see on this side we do have the PS4 connected. This is the one that it's going out to. And then if we go to our second monitor, we have our Elgato set up with the Streamlabs. So it's just set up as a capture card. And now we can go ahead and record whatever we need to from there. To add the source, all you do is go ahead and make a new scene. Or if you're already in a scene, that's fine. Go ahead and hit the plus button here. You're going to choose video capture device, which is right here. Go ahead and choose add source. So here you can go ahead and choose add new source. And you could choose like a webcam, DSLR, if like I run my DSLR camera through this as well, which I'm doing right now since I don't have the PS4 connected anymore. But just to show you if I select the DSLR, there I am. <laughs> if I go back to here, I could choose webcam or I could add a new. So if we choose add a new, you would get here from the drop down. You would just pick what it is, select done, and then it'll be on your screen. And you could adjust the size if you want and you're good to go. And then you will have the video capture device added. Here's just a quick example of what it looks like. You have to make sure you disable the HDCP because that's basically like copyright protection for video. So it's not gonna allow you to record it if you have that turned on. The big thing is when you're done, which I will show you then, you wanna make sure you enable it again or you may have some problems on your PS4 with the TV. It kinda acts a little weird here and there. So you want to make sure you change these every time. I know it's frustrating, but you can't just leave it on or off. You just have to keep switching it. Also, if you're enjoying this tutorial, please leave a like down below. If you want more OBS tutorials, leave it in the comments. If I get enough, we'll do some more. Let's go ahead and show you how to turn HDCP back on. 